Those who have power should restrain themselves from using it. What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video, uh, I've got something a bit different, and uh, I'm uh, going to be talking about uh, one of my favorite, well, uh, not one of, my favorite Star Wars alien species in the Nautilin, or if you don't know, uh, it's what Kit Fisto is. So yeah, if you have any ideas for another species that I could cover in, an in another video, you're more than welcome to put your suggestions down in the comments, and uh, yeah. If you obviously like this video, then please consider liking and subscribing for more Star Wars uh, videos going over ver the various species and, and that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, Nautilins are amphibious humanoids native to the Sabalon area of Glee Ansem, a world of wetlands, lakes, tidal pools, and seas located in the mid-rim. Like many aquatic species, they are able to breathe underwater and possess thick, rubbery flesh that is commonly green and spotted, acting as camouflage in an undersea environment. Unlike other water-based species, however, nautilins do not experience difficulties out of water. They are able to exist on desert planets without trouble, although it is unclear if there is an upper limit to their tolerance for arid conditions. Nautilin skeletons are reinforced with extra cartilage, making them extraordinarily resilient, and their large black fish-like eyes enable them to see clearly in the murkiest of marine locales. They have webbed fingers and toes which aid in their swimming ability. They have a crown of long green tendrils that resemble smaller versions of Twi'lek Leku adorning their heads in place of hair. These head tentacles serve as sensory organs for the Nautilins and uh, they also allow the Nautilins to read the emotional state of beings in their close proximity, although they are not as effective as in the water. Or rather, they're most effective in water. So on dry land, they, they still have this ability, but it's not as good. This is because a Nautilin's head tails do not read minds, but rather read pheromones carried by water currents. Uh, the tendrils are also olfactory sensors that greatly enhance the sense of smell, picking up through a porous outer layer of skin subconsciously released biochemicals that often indicate various feelings and moods. Even when on land, your average nautilin can frequently discern the dispositions of other individuals based on changes in their pheromones. Nautilins reproduce like other amphibious species in the laying of eggs, and they hatch to become tadpoles. The, <clears throat> the infant nautilins proceed quickly through their stages of development, such that by their second standard year of life, of life they are roughly the same size as a human infant and, and already possess arms and legs, though their legs are not yet strong enough to support their weight so they can walk. An infant Nautilin's head tails begin to develop their ex extrasensory abilities between their second and third years. This may be a programmed result of evolution, as this is also the time when many Nautilin children begin to speak, and thus their tendrils are able to start aiding and in interpreting the, potential, the potentially confusing input that they are receiving from the world around them. Because of these empathic abilities, Nautilin moods often reflect those nearby. So, obviously, if you have a lot of sad people, Nautilins are going to be sad, angry, so you, know, you get the picture. As a species, however, Nautilins are a fairly happy people with, who express joy with abandon, particularly when they are free to use their talents without restraint. For instance... Nautilins have been known to flash a wide, brilliant smile when in the midst of physical combat. 
While the delight behind the smile is quite genuine, this flash of passion can also be intended to emotionally disarm their opponents, who may perceive it as a sign of the Nautilus' combat superiority. Other than the fact that their tendrils do not function quite as well out of water, Nautilus prefer aquatic life for another reason, one directly related to their language. Spoken on land, their native tongue, Nautila, is unpronounceable and loses a good deal of its meaning because much of it is tied to pheromone projections that are released that are released in conjunction with spoken words. As a result, Nautilans will speak basic with those who use the standard tongue of the galaxy, or Anselmian, the language spoken by the Anselmi, their land-dwelling neighbors on Gliansum. The ability to speak basic has encouraged many Nautilans to take to the stars, chasing a spirit of adventure. Nautilans are an extremely loyal people, and as such, they will mate for life. Most Nautilans see a happy mating as a necessary requirement of existence, and families are raised with equal input from both parents. Marriage choices are in most cases made through courtship, as is typical in many humanoid societies. Although arranged marriages have declined among the Nautilans in the last few centuries, they do still occur. Nautilan settlements are governed by an elected council of elders, although in this case, elders is a title of respect rather than a sign of age. And the centralized government takes the form of a body of representatives from each settlement. A subcommittee of this body works cooperatively with the overall leadership of Gliansum. One of the best-known Nautilans in history is obviously Jedi Master Kit Fisto. Renowned for his skills with a lightsaber, Fisto's lightsaber, it is said, could operate underwater because of two unique crystals that he used to power it. Also famous for his strength of spirit and his wisdom, Fisto was instrumental in the defeat of the Quarren forces that sympathized with the Confederacy of Independent Systems during a conflict on Mon Calamari. In addition, Master Fisto was unique in that he was one of the few non Twi'leks able to read Leku, the Twi'leks' elaborate language of head-tail movements. Nautilans have coexisted in peace with the Anselmi for thousands of years. Any wars that they have had with each other have been short, though quite passionate and bloody. Some of these conflicts were instigated over underwater developments as well as fishing rights and the dumping of waste products. The Anselmi being land dwellers, will often infringe on Nautilans territory to construct new developments when housing is required, sparking the majority of such disagreements. However, the Nautilans are stronger and better fighters, giving them the advantage over their neighbors in such struggles. Many of these conflicts were mediated by representatives of the old Republic government, though no disagreements between the species are known to have arisen in recent years. All right, one little, one last little thing about Nautilans is, uh, you know, their average height is uh, about 1.8 meters tall, so not too bad. And uh, yeah, these, uh, this, this species as a whole is really cool. I've always, ever since, you know, I saw Kit Fisto in Attack of the Clones, you know, the first time I watched it, you know, 20 years ago or however long I I can't even remember when I first watched it. It's a long time ago. Um, but regardless, yeah, the, the first time I watched it, I just thought that guy looked, you know, he's a cool looking green alien guy. Uh, one of the best things that I like about Star Wars and I've always liked is uh, that it has all, all sorts of these weird aliens and, you know, learning about all these different species and all their cultures is, is really fascinating. And the Nautilans are no exception to that you know I'm, I'm a little biased i like kit fisto but yeah well i hope you enjoyed this video uh you know i hope it wasn't too boring and uh again if you have any suggestions on the next alien species uh go ahead and put it in the comment section down below uh, if you have any other suggestions about how to make this uh series better or just any thoughts uh those are also welcome in the comments 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.